Now it is. Okay, there you go, Dean. Over to you, my friend. Dean, we can't we can't hear you. Oh, I was just waiting. I wanted to see if you were paying attention, Jason. Awesome. That's all. Listen, everybody, thank you so much for having me. Again, this is our third round of being with um, with the with the Jason uh, coaching Sims team. It's um, it's just a real honor for me to be here. And um, so, um, when when we first when we first start um, putting these little I guess ideas together that we were going to bring to you. We started doing it periodically, but we've come to a point where we just feel like it's time to collaborate and get together. So we have a little mini series of, of, of seven weeks here to put together. This one will probably be the most, I'm going to say intense, because it, it's just going to be. So um, we're going to start out by, uh, I'm, going to, I'm, going to, I'm going to bring up a, a slideshow here. I want to say hello to everybody first. You can see my face. Um, and now I'm just going to work through this for 30 seconds. Um, so, so Joel, is this the part where I say share the screen? You got it. All right, let's do that. So um, here we go. Yeah. Sorry about this um, delay here, but um, show let me know when that's on. Yeah, we'll do. So are we there yet? Uh, no, not quite yet. Oh, well, what's going on here, buddy? Here we go. Just keep me posted. All right, you're good. Oh, so you, you got my screen now? Oh, yeah, we're good. All right, excellent. Well, uh, the first thing I wanted to talk about, you guys, um, when we first get going here, this is going to be like no other that we've done before. For those of you who are just tuning in for the first time, uh, congratulations. But for those of you who've been on for a few weeks prior, we've done a couple couple little different episodes. Um, this one is going to be just going really deep. And I just believe uh, that's the reason that I'm on the planet. So what we're about to do today, you've actually tapped into my purpose. My purpose is to be here um, to be able to share information with you guys so it can improve the quality of your life. And if you can take away a nugget today, that would be one of the greatest things that on earth uh, that, that would help me understand that my, my job is getting done. Um, this, this picture here, of course, this is, this is the little Dean. And I always like to start with this when we're about to go deep because it's, there's a story behind this. This is me five years old, uh, born and raised in Newfoundland. This is the first day of my, uh, my career in school. Isn't that cute? Look, wow, I'm always, um, I'm always uh, really pleased to bring this up, and I and I want to bring this up for, for a particular reason. Um, when we first start these these episodes, and Joe and I have been on doing these um, commercials, I guess one would say we're just doing the marketing piece for this. Um, you know, Joe comes on, and he's my friend. He's a real estate agent. Uh, he's this, he's that, and and I'm not really into the accolade side of this. So, Joe, maybe we will never do that again on one of our commercials or one of our one of our marketing pieces, because part of what we're going to go deep into today is not about the accolades, right? So, if we're going to spend the next seven weeks together. I want people to understand who I am first. So, before we do anything, I just want to do a, a bit of a different introduction to 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 me. I mean, because being a real estate agent and a business owner and a coach and and a, and a person who owns a bunch of business, that's only just what I do. That's not really who I am. And so this is, hence is where we start here. Who am I? So if we're gonna spend the next seven weeks together, I thought I'm just gonna share briefly about who I am. So you get to know the real Dean, not about what Dean does. And that's one of the, I have a pet peeve around that actually, because when people walk up to you and that's the first thing that they say to you, hey, so hi, uh, what do you do? Because usually that's a judgment call. And so th then it's based on, well, whatever you do, I'm going to put you in a certain category. And so um, that's, that's not how I want us to start looking at these particular seminars. I want us to look at it. We're going to go from the inside out, not from the outside and not about what we do. So for me personally, if I had to describe myself, you guys, I, you know, first of all, I'm a dad. <clears throat> and it's really interesting when people ask me this question, they'll walk up to meet someone. And I mean, in, in my opinion, that's the lowest form of conversation. What do you do? So let, let's start with something different. How do you express yourself on the planet? I usually ask people that if we get to that still, well, what do you mean by that? Well, like, hey, what do you like to watch? What do you like to eat? Who are your friends? So some of those things, are, it's really going to tie in as we start delving into ourselves. Uh, so for me, as you get to know me here over the next seven weeks, number one is I'm a dad. I think that's part of the purpose of my life as well. I was put on this this planet to to foster these children that I have and to be able to um, 
just, I guess, give them my best. And so being a dad is probably one of the most favorite things in my whole life. And I'm a damn good dad, I, I might add. And I think after we finish up this series of seven, we're going to come on and we're going to talk about uh, parenthood. I mean, these are all the things that we're never going to talk about when it's, you know, when you're on these other types of seminars, where it's all about how do we get more listings? How do we make more money? How do you get this? And how do you get that? For us, it's not about getting, it's about keeping, uh, you know, track of how, how balanced that we are. So then the next part of, uh, of my life is, uh, you know, I'm very empathetic. I, I love I love listening to people. Listening is something that I've acquired a skill for, and and just it hasn't been always that way. But I'm I'm a good listener. I love the ocean. Oh my God, I love creating. Um, anytime that I have any of these companies that that we've worked through, it's because um, it's I've been passionate about creating. So that's who I am. And if if you want to, uh, what I'd like to do is engage the audience and say, if you could put in one or two words about you guys, about how would you describe yourself in like that kind of thing, you know, uh, what is it that you do? How do you express yourself to the planet? I'm a funny guy. You might not know that right now. I am funny as all get up. And that's another part of my life that I absolutely love, right? And I love being able to help people. And that's the biggest passion I think that I have. And, and it always hasn't been this way. We've had to, um, I guess, develop these skills about and, and have an awareness about how, um, you know, we're, why, you know, why we're on the planet. Our job on the planet is to do the thing we love to do. And I love to help people, much like Jason and the whole crew at Sims and probably like everybody on the call. I mean, our job on the planet is to do the thing we love to do. That's our purpose. So figure out what it is that you love to do and then, you know, execute it, right? So, um, so, of course, I like to be funny because, again, we have a company called the Bald Guy Real Estate Team, and I always like to start this thing out with once upon a time I had hair, right? And, uh, and the other reason that I put this picture of me at five years old, and this is going to take it one step further now into the depth of where we're going to go. I like to bring this picture up because uh, I want, again, audience participation here. I can't see the chat, so I'm just going to trust that you're going to do it. I might get too distracted if I look at it. But one of the, one of the things I want to talk about and jump into is about when we go through these, I'm going to say, challenges and adversities in life, how many people can admit that when they walk away from something, if they don't feel like they've won they or, or, or they don't feel it's a win-win, they, they walk away and beat themselves up? Who here can admit that they're really hard on themselves? Joe, you can always chime in and let me know if people are asking, answering the questions or tell me how many or whatever. Yeah, for sure. Because that is, you know, being hard on ourselves is one of the is one of the toughest things we can do to our internals. And I'm going to bring it up for a second. So the reason why I put this little picture of little Dean on here, I was five years old. So because I personally, when I run into a challenge, and if it's less than perfect, I walk away. And then you're trying to discover how might I have changed that? What how could what could I have done to have a different result? And I usually, nine chances out of ten, I'll walk away and beat myself up about this. And I'll walk away and I'll just go, Dean, oh my God, you could have done this. You could have done that. You shouldn't have done this. And you know what happens? Then that's that's something that just slows around in your feelings area of your subconscious mind. And you start to act a certain way when you're beating yourself up. And then, you know, then you're missing out. So is everybody else around you. They're not getting the benefit of the true Dean if I'm, if I'm beating myself up in my head. So a long time ago, I've had many therapists throughout my day. So a long time ago, one of my therapists out of many, two divorces later, and I mean, yes, you need therapy. So a long time ago, a therapist said, Dean, Picture yourself as five years old, and when you're doing this whole, you know, beating the shit out of yourself in your, in your mind, pretend that it's the little you that you're talking about, and go down on one knee and talk to the little you and say, hey, oh, so, so this is not something that I would ever do to little Dean. I would never walk up to a five-year-old and go, listen, you should have done this. You should have done that. Oh, my God, this was, you wouldn't. So from here on in, you guys, one of the nicest things about keeping our vibration on a certain level is to be able to be aware of this, what Jason calls it, monkey mind. Be aware of what's going on in your head for chatter. And this is gonna fall into place with everything else we're gonna to say today. So right now, in the, in the first few minutes, you guys, I'm gonna lay down some groundwork of what we're gonna talk about because the essence of what we're gonna talk about is probably pretty much in the second half of this little webinar. The first thing, we gotta lay some groundwork. We can't talk about jumping off the roof and yelling hallelujah until we build the foundation around us and we get those walls put up. And so that's what I'm going to do in the first little bit here. I'm going to be building some foundations. One of the things that I want us to be aware of, and these are just a little tiny thing that we can talk about, you know, is, is, um, is being careful what goes on in, in your chatter. Jason calls it monkey mind. There's lots of different things to call it. So, so that's, that's one of the first things I want to talk about. Now, um, how are we doing there, Joe? I need a little sip of water. I'm drying up already. You're doing, yeah, awesome. doing great, Dean. Excellent. So, 
and everybody can hear me okay excellent so we've called this um so we've called this 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 series you know the other side of the coin and if we're going to what, what we have planned for you guys here you're going to need an open mind and again just like it says right in front of you there it's being prepared to throw away all the things that you've you've gathered up through your life so far whether you're 20 years old or whether you're 50. you have a whole bunch of conditioning and you think a certain way and of course sometimes it's right and sometimes it's not right and you know it but however what we're about to tell you today and what we're about to chat about and and converse and what i'm going to drop on you today you're going to need an open mind and that just means you know if it's in harmony with maybe the new you great adopt it but understand this if you don't have an open mind you might as well shut the you might as well shut this thing off right now and hit the road <clears throat> because you'll need this because a lot when i first heard what we we're going to talk about today it blew my mind and i actually had to go home and process it and when i understood how i could take this i i keep calling it information i'm looking for a better word if everybody's got a better word than information please put it in the chat box joe and yell it at me but this information that we're going to share later today later in this hour you know it had the ability to absolutely change how i was thinking and we're going to create a picture of the mind to work with and we're going to use our beautiful mind and this is all so beautiful today and that's why i'm so freaking excited to be able to bring this to you because uh, it was my mentor that introduced this whole concept to me and his name was bob proctor but so um we've we've called this the other side of the coin now the other side of the coin to me so what does that mean for me and why would i want to label it the other side of the coin because there's two parts to every story you know there's the, there's all this there's the word success you know it's the worthy realization of a, it's a progressive realization of a worthy ideal. That's Earl Nightingale's version. And success comes with a lot of ups and downs, you guys. And what we hear when we're out here right now trying to get a hold of our careers, it's all about rah, 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 sales, 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 money, money, money. It's all based around how much money did you do, how much did you, how many leads did you do. It's all great information. And there's nothing wrong with that information. However, when this information that you're that you're getting about leads and, and, and all of a sudden now you're killing it, you're kicking ass, you're making bank. Well, guess what? There's always another side to that story. And I'll tell you, because I experienced this back in my 30s where I had the million dollar house. We had every toy in the garage known to mankind. I never had a tough time to use it. I woke up one morning and my family was gone and everything was empty and I had become an asshole. So there's another side you see to all this success. And when we're walking around and you're doing your Facebook post and your Instagram post, we don't talk about the shit that's going on in our life. We just don't. No, nope. we're always about the big stuff. But again, there is a compromise to that success. And that's the other side of the coin. And the thing that you, a lot of people are afraid to talk about it. I've went through it and I've went so deep that it's, it's, it's just, it's, 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 it's not cool. And we don't have to be like that. We do not have to live life uh, like that. Now we can be successful and you can have a balanced life. So I wanted to start sharing the things that took me right from the, right from the pit of hell, right out again, and to start to, you know, create that balance that I needed in my life. Cause you can be successful. You can have it all. I believe that you can have it all, but I believe I might be just a guy that can come in and tell you or help you understand and share some ideas with you that you don't have to go down a wrong path and you can have that family at home and you can make that, you know, make that goal, whatever that is. And you can also, you know, get up in the morning and meditate and you can live a balanced life. Now, I'm not going to say I'm the most balanced guy on the planet either, because this is a lifelong journey, but it's got to start somewhere. And I'm not going to convince you, you got to get up every day and go to the gym. This is all like whatever you decide to do is whatever you decide to do. And I talked to Joel a little earlier, all this information today, this is just, my job is just to say it out loud. It's going to be up to you what you want to do with it. But if you find yourself and uh, you're looking at life and all of a sudden you don't have time for this and you don't have time for this and you're short fused. I always look at our life like a, like a, like a thermometer, right? This is the meter. This is the uh, mercury level. You know, if your mercury is sitting here and something happens to you and you explode, it's, this is no fun. So we got to learn to keep our mercury down here and float around. So when we do have a problem, all of a sudden, you know, we have room to be able to let that mercury come up and down without us exploding. So that is one of, one of the things. And that's why I thought it was so great for us to collaborate with the Sims team, because you know what, this Sims group, they got it together when it comes to, Hey, they can help you build your business and they can tell you how to get whatever it is that you want. You know, so I think this is just one of the missing pieces. And after we've done those first couple of seminars, uh, Joel was telling me that, you know, we had touched on some depth. We touched on people's heartstrings about, wow, okay, good. We need something to, there's another piece to this puzzle. And the Sims group has got all that business stuff in there. And so I am so, 
I feel absolutely honored to, to, to be able to pull me in and, and that I can have some of that piece that puts in that last piece of that puzzle so you can live a full and fulfilling life. And, and, and so that's, um, that's, that's really important for me. And so that's why I say it's really important to have that open mind, right? And this collaboration we got together, uh, I mean, it's a perfect fit. So I just wanted to say thank you. Now, Joel has had some aha moments in our past, um, and Jason as well, he just shared that. We've had some aha moments where we were, um, Joel says he's been taking it forward. And he says, well, Dean, I'd like for you to touch on that thing. He says, because it had such a profound effect on me. And so we're gonna, we're gonna do a little bit of repetition. So for those of you on the call today and you've already heard this, well, hey, repetition is the key to busting up a paradigm. A paradigm is a group of habits that will um, encompass within your subconscious mind. And guess what? It'll control everything that's going on in your life. And so it's not so easy to change all these paradigms. So we have a, a, a new habit to put in. And so one of them is called effective education. If you want to get from A to B, so if you want to change your level of awareness, you know, so if, you, if, you're, if you're selling, you know, Joe, how, like, what's, the, what's the category of, of, of people on the call today? Are we mostly realtors? Yeah, we are. Okay, great. And if there's anybody else, you can probably apply this to your other business life as well. So if we're going to, um, if you want to, like, if we take a real estate life, a real estate agent's life, and you're selling 25 homes a year, but you wanted to sell 50, right? So you don't know how. Um, you know, you, you can go to school all you want, and you don't learn the certain things that you can learn through what I call effective education. And so in order to do that, we have to change the level of awareness. So, if, so 25 homes a year, that, that's, a, um, that's, a, that's a, um, an expression of what your level of awareness is in sales, right? No problem. So if you want to sell 50, we're going to have to change your level of awareness. So how do you get from 25 to 50? Well, I you know just four things right in front of you, right? There's a person. Now, this is what we're doing here today. You've already hired Jason or not hired, no, because this is our thing now, but um, <clears throat> which I love that. Again, this collaboration with Jason, I'm not charging money for. Thank you, God. How cool back. I'm so honored to be able to give back. So having a person or a mentor is so important. Because again, this is accountability at its best, you know, so whether you're paying for it or not, you know, uh, having someone to help you along the way, that's how you're going to raise your level of awareness so you can affect the results that you're getting. Because, you know, the people who do the same thing over and over again, they expect a different result, you know what they're called. Same, same. So they have things. Now, we, we call it a place because being able to raise your level of awareness is going to require some quiet time. And quiet time could be in the wee hours of the morning where you get up and you just spend a few moments alone. It's called meditation. And you know, you fall back to sleep, it's okay, but learn how to meditate a little bit. You know, so, so there's another one because it's in the quiet hours of the morning. So if you get, the earlier you get up, you guys, the less that's going on in the world around us. In your city, when you get up at 4.30, 4.54 is my time. That's when these little guys, they come open like this and it's, it's, it's done deal. Now I can go back to sleep or whatever, but the point is if you're in harmony with what you're, this growth pattern that you want to go in, Get up early in the morning. The rest of the planet is a little bit quiet and sit it on your couch. Just meditate, whatever that looks like for you. You know, stand on your head, go out and, you know, just, just, just be. And this is, this is when the universe, we can call it God, Allah, Buddha. I'm not religious by all means. I'm super spiritual, but not religious. So whatever it is that it, for you, but allow the universe to come inside when you're not so busy monkey brain and go outside in the quiet and allow the universe to talk to you. This is why we want a place. Be quiet. Because guess what? When nine o'clock comes and all of a sudden you had to go for your breakfast, you had got the kids out, you had to drive them to school, you know, you had to get to the office the second you walk in, everybody's after you got deals going on. Well, it's too late then, baby. No, it's over. No, you're, you're, you're on them for the rest of the day. So the universe can't seem to get in and get at your little brain to go, hey, listen, hey, guess what? Here's a creative idea. You asked for it, I'm about to give it to you. Oh, no, you're too busy. You're not listening. So we need to listen hear you hear with your ears you listen with your heart so i want you to get up in the morning and just listen in the quiet and know what it is that you want and then of course there's a book and i'm going to go over one of these books today i'm so happy with that i brought my and every day i'm going to go over a book for the next seven weeks this is called as a man thinketh by james allen so it's no this is fairly thick this one but um it, it comes there's two books in this one this first book as a man thinketh you can read this in around two and a half hours. It's just a little tiny portion of this book and you can get them by themselves. But having a book to be able to absorb and read, and I'm not talking about Fifty Shades of Grey, I'm talking about something with some substance, right? So having a book to read, and again, carve out that time. This is you time now. This is what this is all about. 
having a book, you guys, to be able to read and absorb. And then, you know, there's two parts to that. You're going to have a book about your industry and then you're going to have a book about taking care of you. You know, and that's what this is all about. And we're going to we're going to delve into this book. So every for the next seven weeks or six weeks after today, I'm going to be asking you to pick up a book. So this is As a Man Thinketh. I want you to order it. It'll never go. It'll never go astray. And I'm going to say order it because you can give it to someone. And, and I'll give you the, uh, I don't know if Kate's on this call right now, but I gave this book to my daughter, Kate. Now what, the, the, again, the, the parenting, the, 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 the blessings that I have by being a dad. I read that book 12 years ago and it changed again how I was thinking. Great, love it. Kate last week was going through something and I, I just knew that she could use this. And what I love about our little family is sometimes you only got to read one page and you get it and it's gone. And it's good, so go. So I gave her the book and I asked her in a couple of days later, I said, Kate, did you read that book? She goes, dad, I read the first page. And she goes, you know what? That's all I needed. That's all I needed. And she goes, off she went. And again, so now she has a little bit of, you know, a little a, a nugget to work with. So again, so if we're going to raise our level of awareness to get from A to B, you know, and change our, you know, change how we, how we want to express ourselves in the world, because we want, we want to grow. That's our natural ability is to grow. Bring in a book. And of course, then an affirmation, you know, I am so happy and grateful now that I am in an easy, relaxed manner, in a healthy and positive way, now selling 50 homes a year through my company and, and earning this and earning that and helping people. And, you know, what is your affirmation? There doesn't have to be just one. It can be a few. And for those of you now, guys, now this is, I'm, I got caught today now with my pants down. Look at this. I usually have my goal card here with me. Oh, here it is here. Now, I don't have the goal card, but look, here's my affirmation. You know, this is filled with words. And you know, it comes right up there, uh, July 19th, 2010. There you go, guys. And it's not up to us either. We just got to plant the seed and you don't need to know how, you just need to know the why. You want to talk about affirmations? Again, if this is something that you'd like to get into in one of our first, by all means, uh, I love affirmation, I love goal achieving. Put it in the text going, hey, affirmation, please, yes, do one. I am happy to come back and talk about these things. The presentation right there on how to build the perfect affirmation for you, you know? And there's no, there's no, um, there's no motivation in needs. There's not, I need this and I need that. When you're talking about affirmation, tell me what you want. Don't worry about how you're gonna get it. Just know the why. The problem is with us, we think too much. <laughs> Boy, you don't hear us say that too much. We overthink too much. You know, you think about, um, you know, all the things of the why's where you can't have it. I'm going to suggest that we come up with a positive affirmation. So that's how we can describe effective education, right? And so then the next year, once you're doing your 50, you're going to want to run 150 by that point. So that whether to start a team or whatever it is you're going to do, but it's all possible. So this is why we wanted to bring in this part about um, effective education. Because again, Joe, you said this had some nuggets and you got a lot of feedback. And by the way, you guys, this, um, this phone number on the bottom, there's a couple of things here. I never got a chance to change, but it'll change. It's not, that's not my number anymore. Now, whew, as we're moving forward, you guys, I also want to um, uh, get your notebook out. I, I, want to, I want people to start taking notes. Note taking is, is the key, right, to retention. So you can hear things, great, it'll go in one here, and it's great. So if you don't invest in it today, well, then you'll probably forget about it in two days. I go back and refer to my notes every seminar I've ever taken since 2010. And you can go back and you can pull it out. Guys, take notes. Uh, be, a good, be a good steward of your note taking. Um, um, now, I think we're ready for the next one. Now, this is, this is one of the favorite, this is one of my favorite things. Somebody, my mentor, Bob Proctor, he actually wrote the forward for my book. My mentor uh, stuck this in front of me once and says, Dean, what do you want? He says, tell me what you want and I'll show you, 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 know, I'll show you how to get it. Well, this was big for me. This was huge. And I didn't believe him. And so what I like about today's collaboration with the Sims coaching group, they got the business side. I got the heart side. We got, to, we got you covered. And this is going to be um, funny for you maybe in 10 years when you start looking at what goals that you've just put out there. And, um, and so if, if, again, like if anybody knows like one of those, like one or two words just to pop in that chat box, tell me what you want and I'll show you how to get it. Do we know what we want? And again, that's all part of that goal achieving thing. Do we know what we want? Just give a little type. Joe, do you know what you want? Yeah, absolutely. I want to create abundance for, for everybody in our sphere. Abundance for everybody in our sphere. I love it. And anything else pop it up in the, in the chat boxes there? Uh, yeah, Jason said, I want to secure the lives of every single person that works with us. Secure the life. Excellent. 
Anybody else? Uh, still waiting for people to pop in, but we actually do have a question here on affirmation. Yeah. Love it. Uh, Joe Langdon asks, can you please elaborate on how to build an affirmation? Well, Joe, that's a great question. Um, well, I guess the first thing that you got to know, again, it comes right back to what is it that you want? And we got to keep this thing in, in, in the, um, in, in the, um, in the, um, hmm. hang on, I'm looking for some words, Joe. We got to keep it in the present tense, like you've already received it. And then in the book, Think and Grow Rich with Napoleon Hill, he says, when he was talking about affirmations, he goes, you got to walk around and pretend that you're in, you're in possession of the goods that you desire. You got to talk about it in the present tense or, or you know, like th that you're already in, you know, you have to walk around like that. And when you're about to write out your affirmation, again, uh, we well, have to set a date. So that's one of the first things you want to do. Pick out what it is that you truly want and you have to set a date because if you have no date, you have no measuring stick. And we want to be able to say, hey, how closer to I am, you know, am I to getting my goal? But in the affirmation part itself, you can have it on a little card. And again, I have gold cards here. And I, oh, look at this. Here we go, right there. Just, just happened to be one of my book. Here's a little gold card. Can you see that okay? And inside that card, of course, you know, there's, there's, there's on the back. And you pull it out and you have a little picture, you know, and you read it. And so people think, oh, well, I'll put that on my phone. It's not the same. You pull it out of your wallet and you read it when you're standing in of a bank. I am, you know, by December 31st, 2021, I am so happy and grateful now that I am in an easy and relaxed manner and a healthy and positive way. Now, whatever that goal is, just sum it up because you know what it is. So the thing is, the way the subconscious mind works, Joe, is that once you, repetition, right? Once you say it over and over and over again, you know, tell yourself a lie. So really, that's exactly what it is. Tell yourself a lie, believe it to be true, and it has no choice but manifest. Now that's it in a nutshell. How's that, Joe? Brilliant as always, Dean. Love it. Right on, okay. Good, so um, now, 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 of course, we're gonna start jumping, jumping into this introduction to the mind. And uh, again, this is, a, this is the deeper part of the, this is the deeper part of what we're gonna go on today. And, um, and it's just like when, 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 when this really, when it took a hold of what I have in my, in my heart, it, it blew my mind about how you can really manifest things. And of course, that's where it all started. Uh, it, you know, we have to have this information in front of us. We've got to be able to process it in our own manner. And when it comes to that, um, <clears throat> we're always here for support as well, because a lot of this stuff is new. So what I would like, when we talk about this book, As a Man Thinketh, what I want to do now, I want to be able to um, read from this book, just a couple little things. So when I, when I started putting this together, I, I pulled out this book off the shelf again, because I've been writing this thing for ages. And I read through the first couple of chapters and I had been underlining. Does anybody underline stuff and do the highlighter thing when you're in the, you know, when you're, when you're in the, you know, um, mode of reading. And if you do, well, that's really good because it's easy then to go back and be able to, I guess, reference things that are really important to you. So I'm going to read to you from this little book, all the things that I underline. It's going to take around three minutes, but this is gold. And so, and, and part of the reason I want to do this, like guys, this information that I'm sharing with you today, I didn't come up with this. This has been going on the planet from, you know, for centuries and, you know, centuries and centuries. So what I like to do is be able to put it all together. So we're, you know, we learn things. We want to, you know, I guess repackage it and send it out to you. So in this book, I've underlined some things and I want you to understand, oh good, this is not Dean's words because my God, I mean, hey, be careful who you're listening to, right? But I want to be able to read the things that stood out for me. And then again, all this will make sense as we go on. So now this is where I put the glasses on. Oh, I guess I can't find them if I can't find them. Here we go. So this is a book that was written by James Allen back in the 30s, right? It says, as a man thinketh. It took its, uh, took its title from the biblical book of Proverbs, but Buddha commented similarly. And he says, all that we are is a result of what we have thought. Huh. So that's what Buddha had to say. Each of us literally, each of us is literally what we think. Our character being is the complete sum of all of our thoughts. Does this make sense? If it makes sense, say yes. If it doesn't, say no. If our mind has evil thoughts, we will suffer pain. If our thoughts are pure, joy will follow. How cool is that? And again, this is not all based on spiritual books because it was, I, I couldn't go there because that's not, I mean, you know, I mean, religious books. Uh, this is, you know, again, written from a guy who did his own research. We do not attract that which what we want, but we attract what we are. 
Our wishes and prayers are gratified and answered only when we harmonize with our thoughts and actions. All of us are anxious to improve our circumstances, but are unwilling to improve ourselves. And again, th this, this today is all about personal development. This is exactly what it is. Change is inevitable. Personal development is a choice. And so when we decide to work on ourselves, things are gonna look better. And so of course, this, as I said, is nothing about you know, how to get more leads, but it will, be, you know, uh, it will be all part of the bigger package you know, when, we, when we finish here. Strong, pure, and happy thoughts build up the body in vigor and grace. And habits of thought will produce their own effects, good, bad upon it. Thoughts is the font of action, life, and manifestation. Make the fountain pure, and all will be pure. Change of diet will not help us if we do not change our thoughts. Do you see where we're going with this, Joe? Do you see it? Everything is but we're talking about thoughts today because we're going to talk about our mind. And where do we think? In our mind. Thoughts. On the faces of the age, there are wrinkles made by sympathy, others by strong and pure thought, and others are carved by passion. Who cannot distinguish them? With those who have lived righteously, age is calm. But to think well of all, to be cheerful with all, to patiently learn to find the good in all. Such unselfish thoughts are very portals of heaven. Until thought is linked with purpose, there's no intelligent accomplishment. Jason, I thought you might like that. Until thought is linked with purpose, there is no intelligent accomplishment. Thoughts of doubt and fear never accompany anything, never can. They always lead to failure. Purpose, energy, power to do, and all strong thoughts cease when doubt and fear creep in. You see how, now do you see how important it is to understand how it is that we're feeling all the time? We ought to be in control of our feelings because if we're unconsciously in control, you know, allowing doubt and fear to control our lives, how can you have a positive thought and then nothing changes? All that we achieve and all that we fail to achieve is a direct result of our own thoughts. A person cannot help a weaker unless weaker is willing to be helped. So, Oh, I think that's just about it. So that's it, you guys, for what I had on the line. And so this, um, this, um, this theory about, you know, <clears throat> we become what we think about, and, that, and that's exactly uh, what this is all about. Now, here's, um, <clears throat> now, none of this, you guys, is a new concept either, just so you know, like, this is, this is not, this is, this is not Dean coming in here and just coming up with this. And again, I've learned this from other people. So, you know, it goes back as, you know, from the last 6,000 years in recorded history all the great thinkers and philosophers and capitalists and industrialists, they've all agreed upon one thing and that is we ultimately become what it is that we think about. You know, um, and if we can agree that thinking creates and manifest everything that there is in our lives, it's probably a good idea, don't you think, Jason, that we learn how to think? You know, if it, yeah, big right? Time. Big time. You know, now, you know, you can go to kindergarten, middle school and high school and get an advanced education in college and never be taught how to think. Now we learn how to think as a byproduct, of course, of our ABCs and one plus one is two, but no, nobody ever teaches us the skill or um, you know, that's involved or the creativity in how to think. Isn't that, isn't that interesting? Very interesting. Now, and again, one more thing, if we can, like, if we could agree that thinking creates manifest everything that there is in our lives. I mean, the picture, the, 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 the picture on your computer screen right now, right? This app that we're using, this Zoom app, was nothing more than the thought that was, you know, put out in the mind of an individual. It was, it was a creative thought in the mind of an individual, and it got literally pushed out into form, right? So we're going to really want to understand how it is that we think. And we literally think in pictures, you guys. Have you ever thought about that way? We think in pictures. Now, go ahead and give it a try. Now, if you think of a boat, which of course is my favorite topic, that's the whole reason I'm doing this at somebody else's office today, or a gear, right? Or a feather, a bird, or a balloon. You actually don't, you, you, a, a picture of these items will flash across the screen of your mind. You don't see the word B-O-A-T. You literally see a picture, get it? Now, the clearer the picture that we have of something, the less confusion there is and the more order. The clearer the picture that we got of something, the less confusion, fear, or doubt that we'll have. Make sense? Now, yeah. we, we might want to ask yourself right now, what does my life look like as if I have achieved all my goals? Now, if you don't have a clear picture or a crystal clear image of what that is, 
the chances are that when you go to step out to act to achieve these goals, you're going to do that with some confusion or fear of doubt. There's no, there's no good can come from that. Would you agree? No, or, no I'm, I'm going to slow it down now because again, there's so much here and I, want, I just want to slow this down a bit. You know, if we're going to go out and set all these goals and we don't have a clear picture, now understanding that, you know, we're thinking in pictures now. Screen on the mind. You bring up an object, bam, it crosses it. When you go to when you go to step out and act, if you don't know or you don't have a clear picture, guess what? You're going to be you're going to be going down a rabbit hole. Now, how does this work? This process was well, really through the mind. Well, your brain has millions of brain cells, and it's inside these cells that these pictures are formed. And so, when I ask you to think about this boat or your your house or your car, the group of cells that holds that picture they actually in, increase in amplitude of vibration. And of course, when I when I when we when we pull that trigger and say whatever it is, like the car, that picture it flashes right across the screen of your mind. It's as though your mind has got a screen right there in the center, just like just like you're pulling it right at the ceiling. And again, if you have no cells of recognition of what it is that you know you want, chances are you're going to uh, be confused when you step out. And again, this is the part where people get a little lost. So then. Again, so that, that comes back to the point where if, if the process this works through, through our mind, and if we can agree that you know with the mind, uh, the um, the highest function of your mind is to um, is to be able to create uh, everything that you want in your life, and it can manifest everything that you want. And if that happens through the mind, so then the next logical question would be, what does your mind look like? Now, when, when I say this to most people, they'll say, well, they usually get an image of the brain, and the brain is no more the mind than the elbow or the knee. Mind is actually an activity, you guys, that runs through every part of your being. And so since nobody's ever seen the mind, this is what this, is what this whole day about, is about we're going to create a picture now of the mind to work with. So if this magical, beautiful thing that we call our mind is what's responsible for everything that we're going to create in our lives, don't you think that we should start working with that? Because again, we don't have a picture to work with. And so this is where we've created this little magical graphic. Have you ever seen this before? Has anybody seen this before? I haven't. So obviously this is not really what the mind looks like because I mean, we can only create something to work with. Now, again, I did not create this. This, mind, this magical graphic was um, created by a man by the name of Truman Fleet from San Antonio, Texas. And he was the founder of the concept therapy movement. And he was working in the healing arts at the time. This is way back in the thirties, you guys. He was working as a chiropractor uh, at the time and he wanted to augment the process of healing with his patients. So he wanted them to understand that they are a whole person. They were um, spiritual beings gifted with an intellect living in and through a physical body. And it was through the proper use of the intellectual faculties that he was able to heal his patients. And so of course, again, that process, and he was able to do this by helping them create a picture so they could work with. Any questions on this one? No, love it. Well, let's go over now this and let me show you how all this pieces of the puzzle is going to come together. Now, of course, it's very disproportionate, as you notice, right? So, of course, we as human beings now walking around this little planet, I think the most of us, you know, if you're unaware of, 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 of your mind, you'll go around and you'll think that this is, this is it. This is it, baby, right here. This is my body. This is who I am. And this is what's going on. But, in, but in, in, in the truth of the matter, I mean, that's the lowest part of our personality is our, is our physical being. Our mind is the biggest part. So this is why I'm assuming that he was able to disproportionate this to really make a point. Look at this. Our mind is what is control. It's got, it's, got the whole, it's got the whole gamut there. And we can use this part of our mind or this part of our, ourselves, I guess, to create whatever it is we want. So, I mean, our, our thing is how can we use our mind to go and create everything that we want? I mean, this is, this is good. So now let's take a look at this. <clears throat> so let the top half represent the conscious mind and let the bottom half represent the subconscious mind. So now there's a, this, this conscious mind is also referred to as your thinking mind, right? Now in this thinking mind, this is where all of our awareness lies. This is where our free will lies. Awareness, free will. This makes sense now. This is our conscious mind because we're, and really it's our ability to choose. This is where we get to make our decisions. All right, awareness. We get to make our decisions, free will. We get to do whatever it is we want. 
Now, and our, the, uh, let, the, let the subconscious mind is also referred to as the emotional mind. So again, in your thinking, in your thinking mind, you get to choose your thoughts. Now, or, now here's, here, this is where it all starts. I'm gonna slow it right down now. Or you, get let, or, you, or you get to let somebody else choose these thoughts for you. Now, what do you mean by that? Because you can go to the coffee machine in the morning and you can hear all the chatter that's going around and you can allow that to control what it is that you're thinking. Make sense? Or you can you know, read the newspaper, you can listen to the news, whatever it is you want. That's all happens right there in your conscious mind. But understand this, when you're thinking with this conscious mind of yours, every thought that comes into your conscious mind, you have the ability to do three things with it. You can either um, accept it, reject it, or totally neglect it, right? So that's your three choices. Again, I want you to take some notes. But understand this, whatever it is that you choose to think about that morning, no matter what's going on, it gets expressed in your subconscious mind as feelings. Now I wanna make this, now, is this making sense you guys? Because if it doesn't, I can go back and, because this is really important because this is the part now, you can't erase what you're about to see here because I'm going to show it to you. And there's some days when I'm having a bad day and I know, you know, I, I just know it's like, man, I can't go backwards. I know what's going on here. I know what's going on. Jason, Joe, making sense? Are you, are you following this? 100%. Yep. All right, good. Okay, so you're choosing your thoughts. It gets expressed in your subconscious mind. Now, it's only in your conscious mind, you guys, you have the ability to choose. When it gets dropped down into that subconscious mind of yours, all of a sudden you have a feeling it's done. So you've accepted the thought. Now you're out of control. It goes into your feelings. It goes in your subconscious mind and it, it ultimately gets expressed into actions. So whatever it is you're feeling that day, you're going to go on, you're going to act a certain way. So just think about if you won, like, again, if I was to, I won't say I, so if you were to, if you were to be the, you know, be the winner one day of Jason's little, you know, all of his little contest and you win 25,000 bucks, you know, how is that going to cause you to feel, right? And you're just going to be, you're going to be, you're going to do a dance. It's just that simple. Now you get a tax bill come in, and it's for seventy five thousand. Guess what? You got to choose your thoughts, and your thoughts will cause your feelings, and how you're going to act that day. And so, when all this starts taking place, you guys, this is where the results come in, right? Now, some people uh, identify the results as causes, and they don't call them causes; they call them be causes. I can't go and get the new job because. And I can't go out and, you know, save that money, and go back to school because when really all their causes and circumstances are all goes right back to what it is that they were thinking. And that's what's going to cause the results in their life. Now, it's just still making sense. Yep. Okay, well, let's look at this another way. So you got your mind. So now you already know this. You got your body. You know what's going on here. You got your conscious, you got your subconscious. <clears throat> now. Now on this side, these are our sensory factors. You see here, smell, taste, and touch. Now we have been conditioned, you guys, ever since birth to be able to react based on this. This is how we live our lives based on these sensory factors. Just like, you know, when we're unaware, and I'll give you the example about being unaware. I mean, you get up in the morning and you stub your toe, right? So that's part of the taste or part of the touch story. Depends, I suppose, if you just had your toes in your mouth, if you taste them or not, but so, so if you get up in the morning and all of a sudden you stub your toe, has anybody ever done that? Is that a yes? I'm gonna to pretend there's somebody else there in the planet that stubbed your toe, not just me. If you stubbed your toe in the morning, you have the, so, so, so typically what may happen, and in my life before I was very conscious about how to be able to control my results by, by, this, by this, you get up in the morning, you stub your toe, and then you come downstairs and all of a sudden, you know, shit goes south. You, you walk downstairs, you're in a bad mood and the dog runs under the table, the kids are running away. And because guess what, it, it, it gets out of control. And because we've reacted to this. Now, we, it, it does not have to be that way. And so this is the beauty of what we're gonna talk about next, right? When we talked about Truman Fleet, now he was able to um, heal his patients through a different method by showing them that they were a complete person and they had a whole he was able to introduce their intellectual mind. So we have six intellectual faculties. Now we have those on the other side of the brain or the mind. We have those on the other side of the mind to use. But the problem is nobody, not many people will go around and know what their intellectual mind looks like or even uh, what it entails. It's 
can, can anybody tell me what some of their intellectual faculties might be? Curiosity. Okay, anybody else? Intuition. Cause, cause, what was that? Intuition. Ah, you betcha. You betcha. See, right now we can, like when I talk about touch, we, we know what touch is. I can feel it, I can touch it, taste it, smell it, hear it and see it. Now guys, remember we're talking about now, we're gonna raise our vibration because we're gonna start using the part of our spiritual mind that we didn't even know we had. And it's sitting there all these years. We just have never been told we can use it. You have your, your, your intellectual faculty of perception, will, imagination, memory, intuition, and reason. Now, so this is sitting in our mind. We have the, we have the ability now to, to, to grab that thought that morning. So, and let me give you the example, okay, about the, about the stub and the toe thing. You get up in the morning, you stub your toe. Typically, remember in the last scenario, you just lose your mind, <laughs> no pun intended, and you walk downstairs and everybody's scared and they're gone. And you have a rotten day. You just, you, you have no control about it. And remember, we're dealing with the higher side of our personality here, you guys, our spiritual side. Now, this is, this is again, this, this, is, this is what raises your vibration in the world. When you have the ability to now look at perception. So, and this is where I've, you know, again, I'm not, this is because I've been, because I have this in my life for the last few years, when I do stub my toe right now, or something shitty really happens in my day, because it always, there, there's lots of shitty things in your day. You have the ability with your conscious mind now, instead of just doing to the touch and reacting like we've been brought up to react and ruin your day, why don't you just reel in one of your higher spiritual faculties, perception. So now when I stub my toe, I walk out and I go, okay, no, that's, you know, you can swear for 30 minutes or 30 seconds, sorry, that's about it. And then you shake it off and you go, okay, well, guess what? Through my beautiful spiritual side of my personality, I'm going to reel in perception and I'm going to look at this another way. If you change the way you look at things, the, look, if the things you look at will change. That's a Wayne Dyer quote and I'm thinking of many other people. So then I look at this and I go, okay, God, here's the deal. I just stubbed my toe. Now I've stopped right here. So does this mean I'm just going to slow down for the day? Because it looks like I'm just going too fast. And then you take a couple minutes and you sit down and you go, okay, gotcha. I was moving too fast. And if I keep doing this, I'm probably going to have an accident down the highway. And this is exactly how this is all going to go down. So all of a sudden, what happens when you do this is your vibration will change. And that's just what happens. We have, so, so this is the key thing about here. So this is the gold for today's lecture is right in front of you right now. Take out your iPhone or whatever you got and take a picture of that. We have the ability now in our conscious mind to reel in our higher side when something goes down and we can stay in a good mood. So, so the thing is, or, or it's not so much staying in a good mood, it's about, it's about being in control of how you feel because we've already went over the fact, you already know that however it is that you feel, it's gonna affect your actions, which end up ultimately being your results, all right? Now, so it's these six intellectual faculties that we're going to go over over the next six weeks. Now, so this, like, we're not, like, there's not a lot of involvement here today, but over the next six weeks, we're going to dive into every one of these factors, these, 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 these mental muscles is what I call them. And these are beautiful because right now, there's no reason for the rest of your life right now, I've delivered this information, there's no reason for the rest of your life, you cannot be in a good space by using some of this stuff. I mean, look at our, you know, oh, I, 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 can't, I want to dive into them all now, but I, this, is, this, is not a, this is not about today. Today is about just leaving this around you guys and helping you understand that, you know, this vibration thing, right? You have control now over how it is you feel. So who doesn't want to feel good? I mean, think about it. You have control now about how you feel. So when you get up in the morning and it doesn't feel good, instead of just going on about your day and trying to get rid of it in many manners, just stop for a second and go, okay, listen. All right, why? You can ask yourself the why, and you can start seeing things differently, right? And through all these different things. So this is gonna cover everything that's gonna happen in life. And you can bring this in and control how you feel. Because we know that when we're feeling good, huh, our vibration's high, we're gonna attract what it is that we want in our lives. And so this is the higher side of our personality. There's not a teacher, I don't think. You go out and interview anybody on this, on, um, you know, right now and say, hey, who's your, um, what's your intellectual faculties? They probably won't know it because this is again a part of our uh, this is a part of our 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 spirituality 
the, you know, part of this beautiful energy that we have flowing in and through us that nobody's ever taught us before. This is my whole point about going back to, you know, what we're talking about. You, you don't learn this stuff in school. You know, you can go on and get an advanced education in college and never really be taught how to think. This is what Thruman Fleet put together so he could help his people. And this is what fell into my lap. And it's because of me being in control of these mental faculties that I can now be in control of how it is I feel. And if you feel good, you're gonna, you're gonna rock it. So now this is where the first time we can be able to take this and we can then move this into our business. You can do this with your relationship. You don't feel good today. Well, hey, let's look at this another way. You know, oh my God, when we dive in imagination, whew, baby, Thomas Edison, you know, what about your will? And I, you know, that's like willpower. Memory, everything is stored, like again, this, uh, in your subconscious feeling, this is where your whole past is stored. This is everything that ever happened in your life is stored in your subconscious. And so of course, we gotta be able to access that properly and not remember things, uh, you know, the, the bad things that happen to us. We gotta be able to go back and pull it out. So when we're, you know, it, so, so that's just a case where something happens or something's about to, you know, a memory's brought up and you get really sad. You know, and then all of a sudden you feel good, your vibration's down. Well, we got to switch it up. You got to remember all the good things that happened as well in life. You met Jason. And then all of a sudden he introduced you to this information. I mean, this is memory. Intuition, well, again, oh, I, we're just going to go on about it. So, I mean, so, so today, of course, is all about just that. It's about being able to introduce this concept, guys. This is just a concept. And it works, it works, it works. And I've been able to, um, I've been able to, I guess, control how it is I'm feeling now for a dozen years. And I got to say, I really love my life. I love my life. And I'm not one bit ashamed of this. So, you know, we, 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 are, we are meant to be abundant. I always pray for, you know, uh, abundance and love and peace. But so just because this is on that other side of the coin doesn't mean that we can't go after what it is we want. If you want money, that's great. Because guess what? I mean, hey, it's okay to have all that as well. I think this is all about having a full life. The more money you have, guys, the more people you can help. You know, and I'm not one bit ashamed about all the things that I want. When we're setting goals, people say, you know, oh, well, that's, that's just meant, you know, a monetary things. Well, that's okay. I don't give a shit about what other people think. Their opinion to me is none of my business. My thing is I'm going after what I want because it's what I want. And I want you to be able to do the same thing again. So we have all this information now that we can go after what we want and we can be, we can be living the lives that we want and we can have this fullness that we deserve because now we're starting to work you know, behind the scenes with our spirituality. Now you can call it whatever you want, I call it spirituality, but for me, it's my higher side of my personality. It's the stuff that you don't see. I don't want to be one of these people that just gonna go around and operate all life like a robot. I wanna be able to be in control of how it is I feel and I wanna know why. And so all these beautiful things that are available to us, we now have another tool. These are just tools you guys to put in your belt. This is just something you can pull out when you, when you just lost a deal. It's something to pull out when you when you want to feel like you want to go out and start this new part of your business or how are you gonna how are you gonna go out and create this? I don't know, but listen, to imagination. Thomas Edison said imagination is more powerful than knowledge, right? Ten thousand times he failed, it was never a failure. He said this was just me trying to get to the right answer. This is the attitude we've got to have, right? And so as we're going to step out now and act, we want to have something to work with. And I think this is this little stick man here. It changed my life. And I was talking to, I think it was either George, Jason, but we want to get these things made. And any of these, any of these slides or whatever that you want, you just let us know, man. And if you want one of these, um, <clears throat> the goal cards like we have, we're going to, we're going to be, you know, having little seminars with that. But today was just about introducing this concept. This is a concept and it works and I love it. So I have no, yeah, this is, I have no qualms about sharing this stuff. It seems to be out to lunch. But yet now I have a picture of my brain or my mind to work with. See how, see how easy it is to slip back and say the old language. And again, your, your, your brain is just a switching mechanism in, in your body. But your mind, of course, is an active, 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 active. It's just that beautiful energy within us. And so that's, that's how that looks. And so, so I have many, many um, um, open, open areas in my life for questions, just Please, get, this is not my cell phone number. That was wrong. But, uh, but send us some text. Shoot me an email. Shoot me a text. I'm an open book. I want to be able to help everybody here understand you know, what it is like to be able to control how you feel. Imagine being in control of how you feel. Well, then we're always going to be feeling good. How, how, do you think, how, how, can you imagine if the whole planet was to be able to practice this for one day? I have control about how I feel. Jason, how do you feel? I feel inspired. 
feel what makes you inspired today? So what the, give me a little nugget what you got from this. Where's, where, where's it lying? Well, uh, so your thoughts cause your feelings, right? So, I mean, what you think about is then what you actually start feeling. And, and yeah. so that makes a lot of sense to me, right? You can choose. I think a lot of people choose to get stuck in a negative mindset or yep. they choose to yep. like dwell on like the victim stuff, you know? woe is me and they like to feel sorry for themselves, but it's really just a story that they're selling themselves. But if they yeah, switch yeah. their thinking, they could immediately start working on their feelings because if they started right. thinking from a different lens and looking at things from a different angle, which is much more positive and seeing the good they have, then they'd start feeling better. Cause you actually, I don't believe you can have two feelings at the same exact- There's no dichotomy. There's no dichotomy. Like you can't way. be happy and feel that in that moment and actually in that moment be sad. Now you can switch from happy to sad. You can actually feel both in the exact same moment. So Sure, because feelings is another word for conscious awareness of your vibration. And we have to keep a higher level of vibration, guys. And don't think for a second, this is an airy fairy word. Huh, I'm gonna tell you something. We all operate on certain vibrations. And if we're not at the highest part of our vibration, you are going to find yourselves in, in, in the mud more often than not. And if you want to get a low vibration, walk into a scuzzy old bar and look up in the corner where everybody's just, you know, falling down all over the place. There's your low vibration. That's not where we're at. No, no, we have to be aware of this. And I don't say that to that. This is, I say that just because, you know what, you guys, here's the thing. Have you heard of the word pattern interrupt? Jason, I'm sure you've heard of that, right? Pattern yep. interrupt. This is a full on pattern interrupt. So the next time that you feel, get up in the morning and feel something in your inside, your, your, your sanctorum, your heart of hearts, you feel it in there. Guess what? Stop the train. Give me a call. Somebody say, Hey, Oh my God. Like, I feel like shit today. What I'm like, what's going on? Well, let me, what? So the first thing I ask people is like, well, what are you thinking? Well, I'm thinking, okay, no, no. Tell me this, let's, let's dig deep. Well, you know, I got no check at the end of the month and I got this and I got that. All right, let's, let's switch this up. So how do you switch that up? Well, you go, well, listen, if I was to look at it another way, I would look at this and like, well, guess what? I guess this is my, this is my kick in the ass here. I, you know, I got to put some action in place. I'm going to look at this a different way. I'm not going to look like I'm a loser. No, because then you're going to lower your vibration. Let's look at this a way that's going to make, I'm going to higher vibration today and I'm going to get on the right track because next week I'll have two paychecks. I mean, so this is, you know, whether it's true or not, doesn't matter, but wouldn't you rather take the one that you don't, you know, take the road that's going to serve you best, you know? So that's the way I look at that. And then of course, this is all about ADM, advanced decision-making. The reason we started this, Joe and I and Jason got together and we said, hey, what are we going to do? What, should we start this in the new year? And I said, no, 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 we're doing this. You know, we, we all agree we start this now because this is advanced decision making. If you make the decision right now for 2021, you don't have to make it when January comes. So let's let's get you guys full of good, good, good information that when you walk into 21, you don't have to start then because by the time then there's March, then you're in the busy season, you don't have time. So right now, let's just drop a little nugget in your heart of hearts, your sanctorum for the next seven weeks, give you some little thing that can help you in increase the quality of your life. Let's talk about, you know, again, th th this is this is where it's going to go. We have some advanced decision making. And the, you know, the, the sign of an educated person is, you know, can I entertain a new idea? This is a new idea. Can I entertain a new idea? And then you ask yourself the question, well, will this idea bring me closer to my goals and improve the quality of my life and my family and my business? If the answer is yes, well, then you take a better look at this. So, so that's where I'm at with that. And these little things, I mean, this has really worked for me, you guys. I say it from the bottom of my heart. And, you know, and, and, and I'll tell you where I, I find my own challenges today as we speak right now. I mean, I'm in a different office. That wasn't so bad. I, 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 I'm such a touchy feely guy to see who's out there to see what's going on. I don't know if anybody's left or whatever. But the thing is for me, the, so the challenge for me today is, of course, not seeing people's light bulbs go off and not being able to see all your mask, you know? <laughs> That's the joke. See, I can't even tell if you're laughing or not. I'm supposed to be a funny guy and I don't know if anybody's laughing for God's sakes. Hang on. I think somebody's calling me. Hang on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, no, I, yeah, I, I'm sorry. I'm on a webinar. I got to go. How do you like that one? So, but uh, it's been a real pleasure, you guys. Dean, thank you, man. I'm excited for this series. This is a great start to it. Um, I love it. Thank you so much for, for contributing and, and just being a part of the collaborative movement where we all work together to just level up in life and business. Level up is a key word. Yeah. Yeah. Level up. And, and this is not rocket science, but it is, it, it, there's a little bit the process there and you gotta, you know, and guys, this is, this is from my heart. I mean, call, call us, this is really important stuff. And it has the ability to change your life and your business and we're willing to help. 
And I, and I love that. I mean, I love working with Jason and Joe. There's like, there's no, there's no wrong answers. Nothing is right and nothing's wrong. It just is. This is these, these are beautiful people that you have on your side and your team and, and boy, we're working so, we're just working so we can help you. And I mean, if that's, if, if there's just anything we can do, I, you know, we want to send you out a gold card, please call Joe to get that gold card for when we talk with the affirmations, you know, um, and, and call us for any slide or call us to help understand what were those things again? Or like, just God, we, we are so there to help. And that's, that, that's what this is all about. So thanks for being on. And of course, I can't see you smile or laugh or, or whatever, but just know from my heart, it's, it's a real privilege to be here, to be able to just even share this little bit of knowledge that we have so it can improve your life. So thanks for having me, Jason. Thank you, man. Seriously, it means a lot. Um, Kevin, he's wearing pants today. He did ask. Um, he's wearing pants today. Uh, yeah. and there's a couple of people that have asked for gold cards. So we'll, uh, excellent to, to do that. Well, we'll send them out right away. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, guys, remember, you know, your thoughts control your feelings. And that's for me, that's a big takeaway. What you're thinking about and is going to control how you're feeling. And if you just learn that and really adopt that into your life, you can rebound quickly from things. And there was something that came up last week at a conference that we were at the virtual conference. And basically they talked about successful people let they move on from things much quicker than unsuccessful people. They don't sit and dwell. They seek the lesson and they move on very quickly. And that's something that I've really tried to adopt in my life is I successful people have a lot of adversities. In fact, they generally have a lot more adversities than the average person, but it's their ability to handle those adver adversities and bounce back. That makes the biggest difference. So thank you, Jean, Dean. Uh, and I look forward to the next session coming up. And when's that next session? Is that next week, Joe? You got it. It's uh, Monday, one o'clock. Yeah, well, next week, you guys, we're going to be talking about perception. And again, this is not going to be a long, long one next week. What I'd like for you to do is bring all your ideas. And, and what I'd like to hear is about some stories and, and be able to have someone, uh, you know, jump on and tell a story about how they were able to use their intellectual faculty of perception this week. You know, we talked just briefly about it, but I want to talk, if you change the way you look at things, the things you look at will change. And I want, I want us to go out this week and be consciously aware of what our mind looks like so we can use it and get the things that start manifesting, guys. So, because January is around the corner, we want to manifest a good year next year. Love it. Cool. Some great comments, uh, Dean. Uh, some, somebody said, for me personally, timing of this could not have been more perfect. Oh, well, that's the whole reason. That. Uh, somebody else, a great session with like a gold card. Uh, some people really interacted, got deep with their, their goals. Uh, several people would like gold cards. So, um, cool. Ian, thanks again. And I know it, what I love about you is that you're unique in how you approach this, you know, um, the way you deliver a message, it's authentic and it's real. And I love that. So never change who you are, man. That's what one thing that's always attracted me in our friendship is the fact that you are your own self and you make no apologies for it, nor should you always be yourself, man. That's the, the best thing. Uh, Dr. Zeus quote, nobody's, nobody's better at being you than you. Than you, yeah. And be so who many, you are, they say, to what you do. And you'll always have whatever it is you want. Yeah. And it's just like so many people try to like be someone they're not. And really all they have to do is just be themselves. Yeah. It's really that simple. And, you'll and that's have, all God ever wanted. Just be who you are. He created us unique and individual so we could be who we are. And don't be, don't be shy to be who you are. I mean, yeah. sometimes, of course, that's not, sometimes we got to work ourselves there because we think society wants to be, you know, us to be certain things, right? And I don't care now. It's none of my opinion what you think of me, right? Because and then when you adopt some weird thing like that, well, then you can be who you are. <laughs> Couldn't agree more. Have an amazing day, everybody. Thanks yeah. for uh, tuning in, Dean. Thank you for the value. It's been an honor and a pleasure, and I definitely took some great notes. So I'll oh, uh, I'll post some uh, some Excellent. recaps in the uh, in our mastermind group. So thank you, everybody. Have a great day, and Dean. We'll see you next week. Yeah, you friend. bet. Cheers, guys. Have a great week. Namaste.